Item Details Customizer is a tool that allows system admins to configure quotes, invoices, sales orders, and purchase orders, item details section, and add additional column sections, and running subtotals. So first, let's take a look at our demo quote. What we're looking at is basically a standard VTiger quote, which has standard columns such as item name, description, quantity, list price, discount, etc. And down below we have totals, which are also standard VTiger. Now let's take a look at the invoice that we configure for this purpose, which includes very few fields that we customized for the item details. So if I open my invoice, scroll all the way down, you can see we only have the item name, description, quantity, list price, net price, and tax. Um, and down below we have just grand total and total quantity. If I go to edit view, we'll see exactly the same. So basically with our extension, you can customize which columns should show up in this area as well as apply formulas to each column as well as the total. So now let's take a look at a more complicated example we created for demo purposes. Um, that's on sales orders. And if I were to open my sales order and scroll all the way down, you can see we have the item name, quantity, tax, special instructions, material, color, additions, weight, linear feet, labor hours, date, permit. Um, so these are the custom columns we created in the configuration area for the sales order. So again, the columns can be added to quotes, invoices, service, and purchase orders. Now, in addition to that, we have sections. This is infrastructure. We have IT. And we also have running totals for each column. You, the user can configure what should be in the running totals. And lastly, down below, we have custom totals, which can be defined, say, total weight is basically a sum of the weight column. Total linear feet is the sum of linear feet column total number of items, that's just the quantity total, and so on. So let's go into the edit mode and see how this all functions. So it's very similar to the standard VTiger execution, we just redesigned the interface. Um, so you can see custom columns, you can put in any value, and then as we put in, you can see that the total weight automatically updates down below. So if I put it, say, 15,000, we can see that the total weight just updated. And we also have the running total for the same value. It's 16, so if we change it to 5 again, you can see it updates as I put in the information. And then again, so simple columns, pick lists, multi-select numbers, dates, check boxes, um, the description, the product, pick list you can click and select from the existing products, and here we have the sections and running totals again. So if I scroll down, uh, we can add simply a product and we can add a section, for example, IT, infrastructure additions, monthly, and these sections can be configured in the configuration area so you can name them whatever you like. And then you can move the section, say, up above, and then if you wanted to add a running total of, say, linear or estimated hours, you add it, it pops up right here. And then you can also move it to whatever you like. And as you move it, it will change the, uh, it'll recalculate based on the area that you put in. It basically calculates from the last running total to this one. Next, uh, we have totals. So down below, these are automatically calculated as the user puts an item, so say if I have 1, put in 10 extra, it's down to 28. Um, that's again just way calculated. And then in addition, we can create fields in the total section where the user can put the information in. So now let's take a look at this in the configuration area. If we go to CRM settings, 
other settings, item details, customize or advanced. And we looked at the quotes, they're fairly simple. We looked at invoices. You can see some of the fields on the invoice were limited, so we disable them so you can set from active to inactive and then this field will not show up in the item details section. And let's take a look at sales order. That was the one that was the most interesting. So you can, you can see we disabled the standard VTiger fields by just setting them to inactive because the sales order is more complicated than we're using it for manufacturing in this example. And so instead we created extra fields. So you can see all of these blocks are basically fields within the item details in the sales order. Um, this is the additions weight in our foot and then you can see um, so for testing purposes we'll just go ahead and add one. So add new column. You, we would put in a label. So let's put in say sample and then you can select when you select the product you can pre-fill this column with the field from the product. Same way when you select the product it automatically pre-fills description and in this case you can do the same. You can select what goes into that column when you select product or service. You can make them mandatory or you can make them active or inactive. In addition you can specify the size of the column and if you have a lot of columns and you want to have your view very organized and neat. You can put in either percentage, say this column will take 10% of the space and item details, or you can just say it'll take just 50 pixels. Um, you can see we specified the pixels for the other fields just to so they fit nicely and don't overlap. Um, in addition to adding custom fields to the item details, you can also use formulas to calculate them. So let's take a look for example net price. So net price is total minus discount amount and discount percent. So that gives us the net price. And for example for any field that you add custom and you can then reuse say if you want labor hours um, say for example if we want sample to be to, uh, labor hours times quantity, what we would do is, so this is what the labor hours variable is. We double click on it, we'll copy and say labor hours and then we'll put the times which is asterisk and then find our quantity field, click on it, double click, we get the variable, copy it and then paste it. And what will happen is then once we create this column, it will then do this calculation once we're on the sales order. So I'll just go ahead and save it and we'll get back to that in just a second. And then next under totals where we look we saw a lot of custom totals and here we can add custom totals uh, and in addition we can reuse formulas to define what goes into each. So so project management, as you remember, is the field that where you can type in the value and you would specify this as data entry. So just for testing purposes, we'll go ahead and add few custom totals. So add new field and let's say total quantity. And we want this field to be a formula field and we want to know how many items we have total. <clears throat> so we would use sum and then we would need to get the quantity from our items which are available here. So say we want the sum of quantity, we'll go back to totals, I'll paste that in and that'll give us the sum of the quantity. Say if we want to add another field which is um, type in field, I'll just put in type in for testing purposes which is like data entry and that'll allow user to put in this into the totals field and then you can reuse this type in field on the any of the other totals. So as an example you can see uh, the project management hours is data entry so the user can put in hours in this box and then total estimated hours is basically a sum of all the labor hours from the items plus the project management hours from the totals. And lastly, we have option to make that as a running total. If you check this, 
this then will show up as an option for running totals. So we'll save this. And lastly, we'll go to sections. And this is where you can define sections. So we have four sections at the moment. And then we'll just add sample section. We'll hit save. So now we added a section. We added two additional totals. One is the formula total. And then down below, we added the additional column which is also a formula column. Let's just make it a little larger, 150 pixels. And now if we go back to our sales order and let's just open one up and then edit and we should see the information that we just added. So if I scroll down, um, looks like vertical scroll was added due to the space. So we can see the sample is right here and then down below we have our type in field we have our project management field in and say if we change the quantity you can see then the quantity gets updated as well which is basically um, the formula that we put in so as we update the fields the formula then gets calculated and then down below it gives us the quantity as well the total number of items right here. Um, and that concludes pretty much the demo. So the other, uh, the one more module we want to look at is purchase orders. And if I open it, you can see that for purchase orders, it basically customized it. So you have the item name, description, if there are any special notes from the vendor, we put in the tracking number, estimated delivery day, quantity, list price, tax, and view of the totals and we have reseller discount which is automatically applied. So in a nutshell the item details customizer allows you to create custom columns, define formulas for each column, create custom totals and define formulas. You can add sections, running subtotals and you can hide existing standard VTiger columns that you are not using. And also, this is compatible with PDF Maker. You can create PDFs with all the new columns that you added.